In this video, we're going to break down the Jane Street Software Engineer interview process and interview questions. Top three things you got to know about Jane Street. Number one, intimidating interview loop, in part because they usually have two interviewers per round. Most tech companies only have one. It can be very unnerving if it surprises you. Number two, their cop packages are the creme de la creme by far, and they are cash focused. Number three, there's a lot of misinformation about their hiring process out there. It's easy to get caught up in the stuff you can read online that isn't true. So we'll dispel some of that in this video. All right. Jane Street is a high frequency trading firm. They're solving the puzzle of global markets. They move a ton of money because they have these proprietary funds that people are investing in. Now, they have some things about their process, which is worth going into detail on. Some people, especially online, are going to tell you to expect brain teasers, mathematical questions. But recently, Jane Street and their recruiters have tried to dispel this idea. Candidates in the most recent years have had a more laid back and collaborative, but still challenging experience, but not as focused on those brain teaser math type things. Again, two different interviewers per round. This is not so that you can be intimidating, though it might be intimidating. This is because they get almost double the signal and they're trying to see how you would actually work on the job. So much like on the job, the interviewers can disagree. You might have a different amount of rapport built with either one. Just focus as if you're in the garage trying to ship an MVP in a company you already work for with these two other people that you're working with, as opposed to they're proctoring your test and you need to make sure that you, you know, fit within those bounds. They have very unique coding rounds. You're not going to see the questions that they ask anywhere else. Okay. The money is insane at Jane Street, to say the least. New grads are going to make 350 to 400 k That's unheard of. Packages over a million dollars are going to be more common here than probably any other tech company unless it's a high-frequency trading firm. They only have cash. They do not have stock. So massive advantage if you're looking for making a lot of, you know, just money from day one and not being dependent on the stock doing well. Also, because they're a trading firm, one benefit you have as an employee working there is you can actually invest in their proprietary high-performing funds, which I think is pretty cool. So what Jane Street software engineers are actually doing is building and advancing the company's technical infrastructure that moves billions of dollars of transactions daily. So depending on the team, you're probably going to use OCaml. They don't need you to come in with that experience. Don't worry about that. You're going to automate systems, monitor networks, perform data analysis, and they're big open source fans. So expect to contribute to regularly to open source projects. Okay. So if we haven't said the word collaboration enough for you to get the point, they're big on collaboration. It doesn't mean it's typical friendly, hey, how you doing collaboration, but it does mean there's a lot of communication. So before you apply, Actually, you can actually check out their interview prep resources because unlike most companies, they're actually pretty helpful. They have some more in-depth stuff that will actually help you compared to most other companies. The interview process. So you probably won't know which team you're interviewing for or which level you might be interviewing for. That's something that you definitely want to ask about to your recruiter because they might not tell you. At most other tech companies, you're going to know, I'm interviewing for a staff role. I'm interviewing for a senior role. Their leveling is a little bit different, and they don't exactly have a lot of public data about it out there. So you just want to make your motivations known from the start, like, hey, I'm interested at the staff level or something like that. So the recruiter knows early. So the two stages you can uh, assume that you're going to get are a tech screen and a final round. Weird here, if you haven't noticed, no recruiter screen. Jane Street is shortcutting the humdrum of standard recruiter screens and having you go straight into a 60-minute round that's conducted virtually for coding, and it's not going to be a question that you've seen, and it's not going to be a question that's on leak code. They almost want you to be unprepared. They almost want you to see, they almost want to see how you would work on a problem that you are seeing for the first time. So the Counterintuitive advice here is actually just get to know the programming language that you are most comfortable with really well. 
They don't want you to pseudocode. They just want you to flex your tech chops on the language that you know the best the whole time while communicating even more clearly than you normally would with more stakeholders than you normally would. So it's a good kind of communication exercise to just brush up on the way you ask clarifying questions, brush up on the way you check in, make sure you don't sound like a robot just saying, what do you think about that every time, but more just like different ways to state that same uh, check-in. So after the tech screen, you're gonna go straight to that final round. It's basically gonna be about five rounds in total Four of them are going to be split between coding and system design, depending on how senior you are and what they have you leveled for. And then you can expect a reverse system design round. This is pretty cool because it's different than a lot of other tech companies, but a reverse system design round is basically going to be having you go through a system that you've designed in the past, and then you're going to dive into how you designed that system you will get grilled on that system because it is the focus of that round. So you don't just want to roll in with your typical story, brain story, and think that's going to be cool. Again, two interviewers, double the variance of follow-up questions. Grill yourself as a part of your preparation so you don't get grilled in the interview. Ask yourself questions about this project. Start with your most impactful or flagship project and deconstruct it by asking yourself questions like, why did you choose the solution that you chose? What were the other solutions that you could have chosen but didn't? And for those solutions that you chose, and for those solutions you could have chose but didn't, what were the long-term effects in the technology that showed you you shouldn't take that route? Again, they just want to see if they would be smarter by working with you. Again, don't use OCaml unless it's your preferred programming language. Just use what you're best at. They do have lunch typically at their onsite. As a negotiation coach, I got to tell you, it's still around. It's not a lunch. It is an interview. So you do want to make sure you're still blending in and showing them that you would help add value to the team. For the coding questions you're going to run into, expect multi-part, super open-ended, and no one-size-fits-all questions. The biggest pitfall for all of the coding rounds is how you effectively communicate and write code in a high-stress setting two interviewers instead of one usually. For any decision that you make and all of your solutions, be ready for their first follow-up to be, why do you want to do it that way? And what makes that approach best? Behavioral rounds are going to be pretty lightweight, even though it's still an intimidating format. The actual screen is pretty easy. It's more of a Microsoft style screen than it is an Amazon style screen. There's no Amazon specific cultural traits that Jane Street wants to know because they've decided these are important traits we're going to measure you on. Nope, more Microsoft style. Are you friendly enough compared to our relative levels of friendliness for the people that already work here? And can you get the work done? So really focus on that last part, getting the work done. In that same vein, Dean Street wants you to keep it professional. Don't talk about theoretical or academic projects. Don't go too much about the stuff you're doing outside of work. Remember, it's a high frequency trading firm, large amounts of money. Think time is money and communicate from that same way. Only talk about stuff that has made money. And that's basically it. So in the end, Jane Street is intimidating. It is insanely good at paying out candidates. And there's a lot of misinformation about what they have online. So just make sure you read their interview prep resources. If you want to ace your Jane Street software engineering interview, check out our software engineering interview prep course. We go over system design. We go over behavioral and coding. You can try it all for free now at tryexponent.com.